Hi, my name is Jack Orm, and welcome to the Jack Orm Morning Show. We have a very jam-packed show for you today. Uh, the first segment of this piece, uh, I sit down with my mom and discuss with her why she chose to teach um, her a childhood and why she loves kids. Also, she discusses how um, she's teaching during a global pandemic and how her teachers are working together to alleviate any problems that they face. Take a listen. When I went to middle school, there was another teacher there who just was so influential and I just loved the way he was teaching history and social studies and I just thought, this is great. I just had in the back of my head I would be a teacher, so I switched education and I majored in, I double majored in education and special education with a minor in French. But then I started working at day camps for special ed students, for special ed children in the summertime and I did five summers of that and I saw friends a little bit different than a regular nursery school because we follow Quaker traditions or it's hard for them to keep a mask on like that. It's hard for me to keep the mask on for, I mean, it's a straight three hours. So, um, it's a lot. See, that makes me emotional. Yeah. <laughs> so if a child's playing with a toy, <clears throat> well, we have the set of like magnet tiles, the child who's the magnet tiles, we have to take that toy and sanitize it in the sink before another child can use it. Next, we sit down with, I sat down with Patrick Mahomes to discuss his legacy and what it means to be breaking records like we've never seen before. Playing against stars like Tom Brady and how it means to compete with really great players. Take a listen. Uh, we welcome you in to the CBS booth to bring you an exclusive with 25-year-old quarterback Patrick Mahomes. In his young career under Andy Reid and the Chiefs organization, Mahomes has put up nothing but spectacular numbers. A Super Bowl champion, MVP award winner, and Super Bowl MVP have all been earned. We welcome, we welcome in Patrick Mahomes. Patrick, thanks so much for coming on. Thank you so much for having me. Pleasure to be here. Uh, at uh, 25, you're arguably the most talented quarterback in the National Football League. What has led to this incredible success at such a young age? My teammates. Easy. They really prepared me for the lifestyle and, ju and adjusted me to the training regiments, which was a huge help. Also, Alex Smith. He was huge in getting me mentally prepared for what was next to come my rookie year. Just watching him was incredibly helpful. Uh, Texas Tech was where you really became a household name. What was it like playing down in Lubbock for your college experience? It was all that I could ask for. Great coaches and great teammates and a great college town that all really helped me prepare for the next level. Uh, being, being in the AFC, competing against other quarterbacks such as Lamar Jackson, uh, Baker Mayfield and Ben Roethlisberger has to be challenging. Uh, what do you see out of those guys? All are dominant, but Lamar is one of the most athletic quarterbacks I've ever seen. His ability to scramble and leave the pocket and make plays is truly incredible. I love watching him on film. Obviously, a tough loss to the Bucks in Super Bowl 55. What was the Bucks defense showing that really gave you the most trouble? Honestly, their pass rush was just too much for us. We had two of our best linemen out due to COVID. I think that was definitely a huge impact, but regardless, hats off to them. They played the, uh, they played a hell of a game. Well, uh, what's next for you after this, Patrick? Just relaxing and enjoying the off season. All right, I think that's all. Patrick, thanks so much for coming on. No problem. Appreciate it. It was a pleasure having Patrick on. Um, always a pleasure. Really nice guy. Next, uh, we look at my EPK project, which discusses the movie Soul, a, a kid's movie that uh, has Jamie Foxx, Tina Fey, and other really big actors. And they discuss the importance of what music means and the, inter and the intertwining of, of the movie. Take a listen. The film Soul touches on several meanings for the actors in the film. Traveled the world. I've been to many places, but it's always about bringing music and joy. Um, I think to audiences around the world. Atticus Ross explains the importance of collaboration in terms of sound and directing. It is an in, obviously an incredible force, and as is the whole of Pixar. As a, he has a very clear and specific point of view, I think on everything, music included. Next, Tina Fey and Jamie Foxx acknowledge each other's work in the movie Soul. Talented Tina Fey, who's just, you know, I mean, come on. that Her mind and the way she works is amazing. And plus, she's a writer as well. You know, she started out as a writer 
and, and you know, being on Saturday Night Live. So just to be able to sort of go back. Fox and plays Joe Gardner, and he's incredible in the movie because um, one, he's a really great actor, but also because he is a musician himself. All the parts of Joe's character that are tied to his love of music just feel really authentic. Several actors touch on the, the notion of the great before and the great beyond in the film. That causes his soul to leave his body and almost go to the great beyond. And so he is trying to get back into his body and back to his life. It's the great before. The great before? Oh, we call it the U Seminar now. Rebranding. Does this mean I'm dead? Not yet. Your body's in a holding pattern. It's complicated. I'll get you back to your group. <laughs> Come on, little souls. Get on up here. Welcome to the youth seminar. That's all we have for today. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next week on the Jack Warren Morning Show. Thank you so much.